Some call it the Mecca of basketball. New York City. Yeah, too many Jordan. easy buckets. I'm Coming from I'm inside, and I think he wants to make that appointment. The ball very crisply right now. They really are, and their last three buckets have come by way of an assist. New York shooting their first foul of the night. New York shooting their second and third free throws tonight. And the first one at the line is good. And so Erickson nails both of them. No, I think we may see a review here. This was pretty close. And it looks like they are going to review the play. The question is, did he get the basket off in time? And the footage relayed to the officials from the replay center in Sakakis. I, I, I think he got it off in time. The, re the replay leaving little doubt. But to me, it's worth being certain. And that's why we have replay to get these big calls right. And they've taken a look at it, and they've overturned the call. They've overturned the call. Uh, they're calling the basket good, Greg. Yeah, and that's why we have replay. I mean, to make sure the officials don't miss any calls. And really, a good job to take the second look at it. Would have been a shame if they'd been cheated out of those points. And that's it for the first quarter. And what's been a very lopsided game. New York. of the NBA's toughest defensive teams over the course of the last 10 games. In third, the Knicks. No, I mean, they... See how the playoff race is shaping up. Taking a look at New York. Advantage of one stroke. And of course, the ref. trot on defense jogging back and it's cost him a number of times here yeah listen you can forgive a few transition points here and there but but not like this they need to hustle back after every possession one shot one shot take your lady back up in this pop up in the six and you should ignore these rappers man they say anything call me Susie piggy bank i got plenty chains she rappers for critic Shot. Yes, you too. Yeah, just nice strength there, and then just off with the shot. Boy, with all the contact he drew there, Greg, that would have been a heck of a bucket. He nearly got it to go. New York shooting their fifth and six free throws of the game. You've got to appreciate their ability to make free throws. 81 percent as a team. Guys, that says a lot about the poise of this team. I mean, they've been so calm, cool, and consistent at the stripe this year. I mean, that's impressive. out front opening up a huge gap stay with us folks we'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter it's the 2k sports halftime show hello again everybody ernie johnson here joined by shaquille o'neal and kenny the jet smith we welcome you to the halftime show on 2k sports new york came out ready to play they went to work early at both ends of the floor, going on a 9-0 run to jump out in front. At the end of the first quarter, they found themselves way out on top. Then in quarter number two, it was all hands on deck, and what a show it was. Quality execution, good efficiency, some tremendous defensive play, helped them take a decisive advantage, and they're running away with this one. Taking a look at the Knicks, Kenny, what'd you think? I love how they opened the game. They push the ball up court at every opportunity. 
and they put the defense on their heels. But it wasn't just a track game. It was a well-thought-out strategy that the coaches had way beforehand. We'll see what adjustments get made to try to stop their transition game in the second half. Shaq, let's get your insight on Toronto. Well, their sloppy play really surprised me, especially the turnovers. No matter who they had out there, they never seemed to be on the same page. Their only hope is to make every possession count. That means taking care of the ball. And now, folks, it's just about time for the third quarter to begin. We will see you after the final buzzer. Here's where Toronto sits right now in the league rankings. Eighth in opponent offense, 19th in second chance points. And as far as fewest turnovers per game, not a strong suit. They've struggled here. Top 20 in the league. Those numbers can get you beat. And you look at their opponent's points per game. Now, some of that can be influenced by pace of play, but I still like what I'm seeing from them defensively. Getting stops, a big part of how they win games. First one calls for it. And Williams drops him The first free throw is good. Mistake at the line yet. Ten of ten. They've become a big factor in this game. And they're starting to reap the benefits here, guys. Points off those turnovers. They hold a huge advantage. getting into the middle of that defense and scoring in the paint. And that's why they're on this run. You get that close to the hoop, and it's a lot easier to make shots. And that one falls for Williams. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jeff Smith is here, so we're Shaquille O'Neal. Time now for some highlights as we take a look at our Jordan Play.
player of the game. An absolutely astounding and historic night for him here in this game. He was simply unstoppable in what can only be described as a masterful performance. What do you think, Shaq? His accuracy from the field was pretty eye-catching. I mean, if he was shooting the ball, he was going on. You really see a performance like this with this crazy high shooting percentage. Wow. In terms of three-point shooting, this could be framed as a historic performance. Getting that many three-point shots in a single game is borderline impossible. The pressure was off the rest of the guys offensively. They just had to worry about getting him the ball and setting him Then it was bombs away. And folks, that's it for us. Thank you for tuning in. Always a pleasure. For Kenny the Jetsmith, for Shaquille O'Neal, this is Ernie Johnson.